Well, I'm making another uh, BC Rich video. And I doubt anybody's ever seen one of these. But if you have, sweet. Hopefully you own it. But check it out. You can't even see the paint job. Fuck. There, now you can see it. It's a BC Rich Warlock Platinum Series. Black paint with green cracks. Got a little nasty on the back here. But it don't matter what the back looks like. It's all about the front. I have most of the original parts. The most important thing is the tremolo. I still have it. It's right here. Somewhat. I got the pickups. I got one of them here. I lost one of the bases for them. Which, they're kind of stupid bases. Because look. So they're like the original ones with two. This one's got three. Two here. And one here. So they only go in one way. I think that's dumb. But I don't know if I'm gonna try to put the original pickups. Damn, that's close. In it again. But if I'm going to, I'm gonna replace this because it's pushed in. I don't remember what hit it. Get that hole fixed. Maybe a new three-way switch. I don't know yet. Definitely a new two-way because the, the arms are bent. I think this one's still good. Maybe some new pots. Or not, if I go active, which i got room to cut into the body for. And I'm thinking I'm doing actives with this one the one that you saw in the last BC Richard video this is the rave this green one here god that light sucks this is the platinum series this one's older actually for a friend of mine use it this one's older but at actual age, the black one's older. I think the this one's from like the 80s and this one's from like from the 90s. I ain't sure. If anybody knows, you can tell me down there. And another thing I'm thinking on doing, instead of making it look like a bolt-on, which this is, it's missing a big chip right here. And I have it. It's right here. That's part of the neck. It broke off once, I don't remember why. The fretboard has been popped off. It's been re-glued on. But the idiots, and I stand by that, the idiots who put it back on put the tension rod in wrong. You can just sit there and turn it and turn it and turn it and nothing would happen. I'm not sure how it works, but how I think it works, like there's, like it's probably insta here, like the seventh fret. Or the 8th and ninth, I don't know. And there's like a block there. Like, uh... Ah, uh, fuck, it's bare. I don't know, I can't find it. I'm not going to waste time, though. Like a picture of bolt and a nut. That's how I think it works. And I think... That part that where it screws in, so... The tighter it bring the neck in like this, and the looser it bring it out. So far, it's a little bit out, and like as soon as the strings get on there, don't matter what size they are, they can be like a hundreds, and the neck could be like this. They can be, uh, and I mean hundreds in thick end, or uh, like what's the size for nines? I think 42 or 40 or something like that. If they're those, they'll still be bent. But if it, if you're using like 
maybe 10 and you have it down to like an D or C sharp which is kind of low for those set of strings that's why I got this heavy set on mine which are uh, 10 13 17 30 42 and 54 I think or 52 I don't know I don't remember I got this in a D right now I've been playing in a lot of Pantera lately yeah I'd like to get this working and I can tell you the body is thicker on this one than it is on the black one which I like It kind of reminds me of my Ibanez I had, but it weighs 20 pounds lighter, because I think it's a different wood, I ain't sure. If it is a wood, damn it, I just chipped the paint. If it's a different wood, I don't know what kind of wood it is, but if I would take a guess, I would say like, I ain't sure. I wouldn't say mahogany because mahogany has a little bit more, a little bit more weight to it. But maybe it is. I ain't sure. I know the next maple. I need some repairs right here. I'm thinking about just like sanding it a little bit, putting varnish on it. It's got a little. It's got two cracks. One like right in here, and another one up here and those will cut you I'm gonna need a new lock new uh, tension rod cap new nut I might pop the fretboard off and look at it but maybe not I wanna get new tuners I wanna get grove tuners instead of these shitty pings shitty shings and gluing the neck on so I'm making it a set neck and maybe maybe sanding the, this little block of wood here so it doesn't feel so like this that's pretty thick but um I did a little research on this paint style and you can look it up yourself and you can see the paint job if you couldn't see it this well in this video I apologize for the webcam the cheap one still working on my good one one of the cables snapped off on the inside I'm still working on it and along with a lot of other projects but anyway the paint job that I've seen was on a BC Rich Platinum Series bitch that's B-I-C-H It is a six string. It, the paint job, the wood, fretboard, I, well, maybe the fretboard's a little different. The fr uh, fret inlays are the same. The neck on the bitch was maple. The body, I'm sure, is whatever this one is. I ain't quite sure what this one is. If anybody knows, awesome. You can tell me. Like I said, I think it's mahogany, but I ain't sure. But I can tell you, this thing needs a lot of work. And what I was going to say, I just remembered, if I was going to have actives in here, I might have a Seymour Duncan blackout set, like a regular neck, like the blackout metal. I ain't sure yet and have this switch for the booster for it because I know on the Seymour Duncan uh, metal it's got a jumper cable which I think this arcs two pins over or coils or I don't know how it works I tried asking the dude never got a response so oops fuck him I 
if anybody's got any ideas, questions, anything, I guess, I don't know, but I'm probably not going to be working on this right away, because I got some shit to deal with. I didn't mean to make this video 12 minutes long. I thought it was going to be like 6 minutes long at max. What, you know. Yeah, if anybody's got any questions, ideas, comments, whatever, they can go down there, message me, whatever. And see you later.